On the 14th of March this year, a section of MPs started collecting signatures in a move to impeach the president. Fruitless as it appeared to be, it sent a signal that the president's popularity might have been waning after 26 years in power. With no limit on how long he will continue to hold office, the question of restoring presidential term limits is back as MPs move to introduce a bill in its support. Against this backdrop, the Prime Minister Maman Babazi announced a meeting of the National Executive Committee of the ruling NRM party. Babazi, also party secretary general, still defends the 2005 decision to lift term limits. Our position is very, very clear on the term limits and this is clearly manifested in the provisions of the constitution now. On the issue of succession and questions whether the party can indeed prevail over President Museveni, who has often insisted that the NRM would decide who succeeds him, Babazi was quick to state that the ruling party was a democratic organization. Our leadership is determined by um, a democratic process and uh, the succession of either the national chairman, secretary general, district chairperson or anybody will have to be through that process. There is no other. The strongest voices yet to call for a post-2016 without President Museveni are the clergy. To Mbabazi, it appears, the men of the clock should stick to their vocation. If I'm employed as a medical doctor, how can I now be a teacher in a primary school? A religious leader is a leader of a congregation that is mixed by all political persuasions. Now, if you begin being partisan, then you have a problem. As the stage is set for the crucial meeting that will include 275 members of parliament, army veterans and district leaders among others, every step the National Executive Committee will take could be a clear indicator of perhaps what will happen after 2016. Josephine Karunji, NTV.